Right, your two teams are coming out here this evening. Slough in their usual kit of amber shirts with navy shorts and navy six. Let's run through those two starting 11s for you. Uh, for Wedding United, one is Dan Wilkes, two Sanchez Ming, three Joe Anderson, four Connor Diamond, five is the captain Rob Swain, six is Jay Rich Bagalou, seven Tom is Tio Widrington, eight is Montel Ajimang, nine Anthony Cook, ten is the Mandy Nwajuku, and eleven is Nathan Green. I'm going to get his name right by sometime later today. Uh, for Slough, it's Jack Turner, one, Josh Chapman, two, three, George Wells, four is the captain, Sam Togwell. Five is Guy Hollis, six is Lee Togwell, seven is Max Warsfold, eight Matt Lynch, eleven Warren Harris, fourteen Scott Davis, and seventeen is Dan Roberts. So it's, oh, it's like two minutes late. There you go, kick off here at Arbor Park and Slough play it back here to George Wells. Wells immediately closed down by Cook, boys. Finds the ball in towards Scott Davis. And on the six line yard line. Turner under pressure plays it out. Oh, almost hits our camera. That, to be honest, I've got to say that is the only highlight of the game so far. Turner goes long here. This is a good ball finding Warsfold. If Warsfold could keep it in by the corner flag, he can. Up here against Sanchez Ming, cross his first time. Looking at the back post, headed away by Bagalins. Good header. And uh, Cook goes towards his own goal. Swain now there to hammer it clear and hammers it straight out of play. Oh, Underwood with the touch. What a touch by John Underwood. Uh, shame he's not on the pitch. Um, ball comes back here to George Wells. First time ball over for him. Trying to chip it in on the far hand side towards Sean Fraser. Fraser across the goal. In fact, it was Warren Harris. As if it was going to be Sean Fraser. <laughs> Uh, Warren Harris it was with the shot across goal. Hollis with this long throw into the box. Heads to the back post, it's blocked. Comes through to Worsfold, it's shot. And uh, it didn't take a touch. Worsfold's shot goes well wide of the goal. Uh, it will be a throw to Welling on the far hand side. 25 yards away from goal. Throw does coming long, headed away by Guy Hollis to the edge of the area to Machuku, who's just under a bit of pressure, gets a shot away but well wide of the goal. I would love to say we're getting closer, but we're most probably not. The game is poor. Sam Togwell finds George Wells. Wells cuts inside, plays it right, put it down the line. Roberts was offside, it doesn't matter because that is half time here at Arbor Park. I'd love to tell you that it's been the most entertaining game you'll ever see. But it's not. Uh, ball's been played forwards here. It's been picked up here by Warsfold. 25 yards away from goal. Gives it to Roberts inside the box. Oh, it's a save from the goalkeeper. We've had a shot. It's only taken 24 seconds of the second half. You've all been at home. You've missed it. Now trying to work the ball well. Played forwards here towards Dan Roberts. Little cushion pass into the path of Jackman. Jackman now finds Warren Harris down the right hand side. Harris cuts inside. Gives it back out here towards Chapman. Creates a shot. Oh, and he hits his shot. It's a, it's a shot wide of the goal, but I think it was more... It, it got into a position. Wasn't sure whether to shoot or to cross. Talk about down the line, trying to find Wells. It's come off a Ming for a slout turn throw. Fraser gives it back from the throw towards George Wells. Cross his first time. Looking for Ben Harris in the box. It's a header. Wide of the goal. Nothing going on, so we're just chatting to people. Corner comes in. It's missed by everyone. Headed away by Swain. Only as far as Scott Davis. Lovely pass back outside the ball's fold. Chance to put a better ball in. Good ball in. Oh! Ben Harris! Oh my word! We've waited 74 long minutes! For Ben Harris to rise high and head home. 28 yards from goal because the ball's on the 18 yard line. Look at that, straight over the wall, top corner. Goalkeeper's way over to the right hand side. You see, he plays it, it's flicked over the top of the bar by Ben Harris. It's Anderson that takes the throw. Anderson gets the ball back, skips past one challenge, 
finds Green. Green right by the byline, crosses it to the far post. It's missed by everyone. Cook will keep it in. Plays it in here towards McCallum. McCallum just sneaking inside the box, tries to cheap it in. Shot there by Diamond. It's the first shot that Welling, if Welling fans behind the goal, to all credit, have just cheered their first shot on target that was a daisy cutter through to the goalkeeper. He's out on the far hand side to McCallum, you can see him, he's wearing gloves, skips down the sideline, keeps the ball in. Up against Sean Fraser, still has the ball, gets the ball in, it's a good cross in. Oh, Turner with the save, it's hooked away! How did that not go in? Ball comes out towards Anderson, little back heel, Dan Roberts, sorry, Ben Harris working, comes out towards Cook. Cook trying to turn and get it in. Oh, he gives it to Scott Davis, who clears. What a save by Jack Turner, he knew nothing about it, it hit him. Uh, Cosgrave, who keeps the ball in and finds Anderson. Anderson crosses deep, Bagley's up there, heads it goal, but it's well wider the goal and out of play for a goal kick. I make three seconds of added time left. With this referee, we could play forever. There it is, full time whistle. It's been an ugly, ugly, ugly game. But Slough managed to win 1 0. They win again. And it's the uh, Rebels that take the three points here this afternoon, this evening. It's been a cold evening.